So today is Thursday. It is the return of March Madness tonight. Games kick off on CBS at 7. The games you are watching originate from Las Vegas. So I figured let's compare our weather to theirs on our Whitley Law Firm Weather Camera Network. Near 80 degrees here in Raleigh. What a great day it was. You're probably going to have to think about the AC tomorrow. We are some 15 degrees warmer than where they are right now in Las Vegas, Nevada. They're three hours behind us, so it's 2.15 there. But again, we're one of the warmer spots across the whole country, and most of us topped out around 80 degrees today. So right now we've got upper 70s in Wake Forest, and here in the capital, it's right at 80 in Durham, right about there in Chapel Hill. You guys in the Sand Hills, same situation, upper 70s on this Thursday afternoon. Remember, average high, not that anything has been average so far this year, mid 60s 60s and we were close to 80 today it was also a windy day our current wind gusts are still around 20 to 30 miles per hour but look where they're coming from southwest a southwest wind is a warm wind and that's why it was warm today and that's why really tonight it's not going to get cool at all we'll stay dry we'll stay mostly clear we'll stay breezy through the overnight hours still 72 at 8 we fall through the 60s overnight, and we only get down to 60 degrees tomorrow morning. Do you remember Tuesday morning? We started off at 28 degrees. We're going to be more than 30 degrees warmer than that tomorrow. And again, a lot of it has to do with that southwesterly wind. That and sunshine working together to get us warm today, taking us close to 90 tomorrow. But that's not going to last long term because this cold front in the Midwest and the rain that is with it, will be here on Saturday. So before we get to the weekend wet weather, let's talk about tomorrow. Forecast high of 87 in the Triangle, 88 down in the Sandhills. Again, that is way above our averages in the 60s, and it is dangerously close to our record high temperatures. So we'll be right around it in both spots. I won't split hairs with you. It's going to be a warm day, the warmest day of the year so far. And I much more enjoy saying that in March than I do when I have to say that kind of thing in August, because usually by then it's close to 100. So let's zoom through the day tomorrow. Again, from 7 a.m. to 7 p.m., you can see not a lot of cloud cover. We'll have windy conditions like we did today. And again, those highs in the upper 80s. Things get interesting on Saturday, so let's slow it down and get you to 7 a.m. Saturday when we are dry. So it's not going to be a washout Saturday, but you see those showers and storms up in the mountains in the morning. They'll be here by midday. So we'll stop at about lunchtime. You can see the showers have weakened, but still widespread rain might have a rumble of thunder, but we're not expecting severe weather. So get up and at them early on Saturday, maybe take a break inside around lunchtime. We've got dry weather Saturday afternoon. We could get a secondary dose of rain as we head into Saturday night. And then Sunday definitely looks drier as well. So again, your weekend is not a washout. And even though there's a cold front coming, it's not going to get cold at all. Tomorrow will definitely not be cold. Not ready for hot. 87 will be our forecast high with breezy conditions and sunny skies. Clouds with the cold front on Saturday and a 50% chance of rain. Our high will back off by about 10 degrees, and then we dry out Sunday, upper 70s, should be a great end to the weekend. A couple small rain chances Monday and Tuesday, and then the rest of your exclusive 10-day forecast. we got some 60s and 70s mix in as we head into late next week and next weekend, the beginning of April, and rain will return in small doses next Friday and Saturday. All right.